Amen. Beautiful singing this morning. Y'all can be seated. Well, good morning, everybody. It's Christ Kids time. I'm Pastor Katie, and I'm our pastor to families with children and youth. If you are a Christ kid or a Christ kid at heart, can you give me a big wave? Okay, today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to make a storm together. Have y'all ever made a storm before? All right, we got to start with some wind. Okay, now we need some rain. Now we need some thunder. Now we need some lightning. Okay, now we're going to choose your favorite, either wind, rain, thunder, or lightning, and we're going to do it all at once. You ready? One, two, three. Okay, quiet or storm a little bit. And done. Good job. Well, today, Pastor Morris is talking all about storms. Storms can be kind of scary, right? But he's not talking about real thunderstorms. He's talking about storms in our lives. And what could that mean? Sometimes we call the bad things that happen in our lives storms because when something bad happens, it can be scary, right? And messy, like a storm. We watch the weather and we change our outside plans. And sometimes we have to even get somewhere extra safe in our house until the storm passes. But we know the storm will always pass, right? Eventually, the wind and the rain will quiet down and the sun will come out again. Storms in our lives are like that too. We might worry about what storms might come, like when we worry about a test at school. We may have to change our plans, like when someone we love gets sick, we drop everything to take care of them. And sometimes we have to hunker down with the people we love to wait out the storm or the bad thing that is happening. Like when our friends hurt our feelings, we just need to snuggle our parents for a minute and cry for a little while sometimes. What we need to make sure and remember is that God is always with us, even in the storms. God promises to never leave us, no matter what storms we are going through. When we remember how much God loves us, we remember to pray through the storm and remember to rely on the people in our lives to help us through the bad things, we can make it through any storm. This week, remember to stay close to God through prayer and through your church family so when the storms of life come, you are ready to ride them out and be even closer to God on the other side. Let's pray together. Dear God, Thank you so much for never leaving us even through the storms in our lives. Help us rely on you when the bad things come. We love you so much. Amen.